Hello, guys. How are you doing today? Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Good evening. Very good. Very good. Hello. Hello. Excellent. Hello. Can you hear me? Can yes, hear I can hear you perfectly, Rolando. Okay. Very nice. Excellent. You have your headset today, right? Yeah. I try to to this health health health. How do you say headset? You headset, okay. Yeah, you say ear, you can say headphones or earphones, but in this case, like it's complete with the, the you have this and then you have the microphone, uh -huh. so it's called headset. Okay, okay, okay very nice. Excellent, guys. So I had a group before you, so I was working um, until eight something that's why i always connected a little bit late but today i finished that group so that means that so every day i'm gonna connect before 8 p.m okay and exactly at 8 p.m i'm gonna start with the first attendance just to make sure that everyone is here on time okay so since this day i'm gonna do that so I'm gonna go with the first attendance. Remember, you have to have your full names. So please, if you don't have your full name in the screen, do it right now, because we need it now. Okay, so for example, Merlin, if you can change your name to your full name, that will be perfect. And I see everyone else. Yeah, you have, you have okay. the... Okay, teacher, I will change. Okay, excellent, thank you very much. So... Just let me go through the attendance. I don't know, it's not working. Why is it not working? Give me a minute, guys. Yeah, there we go. Okay, ready. So I'm gonna start with the first person, Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sando. No, 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 Ana, Be Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. I'm here. Excellent. Uh, Brenda Erlinda Sáenz Villatoro. Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta. Diana Yesenia Reyes Alas. I'm here. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. Flori Dalma Ramirez Calderón. I'm here. Eh, Harbin Isaac Guevara Miranda. No. Nope. Okay. Um, Jennifer Gisela López Sánchez. Juan José Avalos Campos. I am here. Excellent. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. Kerry Tef Tiffany Rosales Figueroa, Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. I'm here, teacher. Miguel Ángel Centeno. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla, Ciudad Real. I'm here, teacher. Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. I'm here, teacher. Mm, Ruth Noemí Sánchez Pérez. Suleima Lisset Méndez Romero. William Antonio Morales Mancilla. I'm here. Jessica Yanari Cortés I'm Díaz. Here. I'm here. Y Silvia María Rivera Rivas. Nope. Okay. So. I'm no. here, teacher. Jennifer. Es Jennifer Gisela. Uh, la mencioné hace rato. Right? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, guys, like I was telling, no, pero no se preocupen, igual vamos para la segunda asistencia, that it's at 9 p.m., so it's okay. Vamos a la segunda asistencia a las 9. I was telling the other people that um, I was connecting a little bit late because I had another group before you. So I was finishing at eight, so it was really complicated to be on time. But right now I just finished that group, so I'm gonna be connecting at eight 
before 8 p.m. every time. Around 7.55 or so, 7.58 or so. So every time at 8, I'm going to be like greeting you guys. So welcome to the class and everything. And then I'm going to start with the attendance because that's what InstaForb is asking for you to be on time and in, in the first attendance. Then I'm, at night, I'm going to take the attendance again for the people that had different troubles, maybe issues, and they couldn't connect at 8, exactly at 8 on time, right? Um, OK, let's see, let's see. Everyone is coming. Merlin, can, can you change the name or, or you can't? I can't, uh, teacher. Uh, I can't change. I don't know what happened. You have there, if you see on your video, you will have like three dots and says renombrar. But if you cannot, I'm going to do it for you just this time. Just wait a minute. Okay. So Merlin is here. Okay, let's see. It's Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz, right? Yes. Is it raining where you're living, guys? In my house, really. Yeah. Yes, in yeah. my house. Yeah. So. It's raining? Yeah. Raining. Hearing, so hearing my, 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 my. My house is really hot right now. It's not raining. It's so hot right now. The weather is, uh, oh my God, I don't like it. The, the connection is unstable. Oh, so your connection is unstable, Juan? Uh, a little, some time. Because of the rain? And, and there are many, uh, so much wind too. <laughs> Oh, there is wind. Okay, I understand. Thank you for letting me know, Juan Jose. Okay, guys, um, we had an activity yesterday. I gave you time to work in groups and the groups were going to be about um, a place where you, I don't know, maybe you want to work and then you have to tell me what you can give to this company. What are the abilities you have in the company that you can give, right? So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms just for you to get, I don't know, like coordinate with your classmates, everything that you couldn't do yesterday. So I'm going to give you exactly five minutes. OK, so let me go to the breakout rooms and tell me. So, for example, uh, William Antonio, who were you with? Your classmates, can you tell me the names? I don't. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. With with me, Harbin, uh, Anna Harbin. Elizabeth. Okay, and so William. it was William, Anna Elizabeth. Harbin. 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 No, Harbin is not here yet. And me, Flor. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one group. Let's do the other one. So. Let's go with Ana Beatriz. Who were you with, Ana Beatriz? Uh, with Katia, Suleima, and Jessica. Katia, Katia is not here yet. Okay, so let's go to the next one. So Brenda, who were you with? Brenda? Uh, with uh, Ruth, but the other, uh, it was um, Ruth the other guy, or Ruth, Ruth Sarai, Sarai. Ruth Sarai. Ruth Sarai, okay. And, and Merlin, yeah, and was also. And who? Miguel, I think. Miguel? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, let's go to the another one. Um, Diana, who were you with? I was working with Jennifer and Juan Jose and Rolando. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. So, Kerry y Ruth estaban juntas o Ruth con quien estaba Ruth Sánchez? Y Kerry no estuvo ayer en clases, ¿verdad, Kerry? Yes, it's true. Yesterday I didn't came because I have work 
I work at 9 p.m. Okay, so Kerry, I'm gonna send you to a different room. Thank you. So, but right now, so that's the people we have. Ruth Sanchez, who were you with? Con quien estaba? Eh, Mike, eh, eh, buenas noches. Ahí estoy en inconveniente con mi transporte. <laughs> oh, entonces no estuvo aquí eh, ayer. No, no estuve en clase. Oh, ok. So, igual la voy a asignar a un grupo. Tarde. La voy a asignar a otro grupo entonces, no se preocupe. Okay, voy a iniciar todas Gracias. las sesiones y voy a. Ahí les mando a Ruth y le mando a Kerry. Entonces recibanlas para las personas que me toqué ahí. Excelente. Juan, no, you didn't, you don't have the invitation. Uh, I didn't, I did my my homework. Oh yeah, oh. but your classmates, you have to be like a group, and you have to make like a presentation. believe that we can do a lot by being ourselves. Besides working for one of the best debt companies in the world, the great thing is that it is a great place to see, hear, and meet very interesting, interesting and intelligent people who create a good work environment. Interesting. We will, interesting. Sorry. Uh, we will, I'm sorry, Flor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just came here to tell you something, guys. Uh, everyone has to say a little bit of the the presentation, right? Okay. So just for you to take that in mind, like everyone has to speak, right? Okay. okay. Excellent. Okay. Okay, girls. Uh, the teachers want. Uh, uh -huh. Rapidito en español. Like teacher quiere. Que nosotros nos presentemos, digamos. Don't nosotros worry, the teacher trabajar. isn't in this room. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The, the teacher here. quiere. The teacher said, the teacher wants. Yeah, the teacher wants why? to know why we want mm -hmm. to work in that company. So yes. we have to look. It's like no, an no, no, we have why. To... no, why. What you can give to the company. What benefits? Yeah, benefits. Yes, benefits. 
So for example, the person yesterday, the person was like, I can speak a little bit Chinese, I can um, I, I can work on spreadsheets and things like that. So why you are a good benefit for the company? Uh, so it's according uh, with the acknowledgement that everyone had. You like, yeah, but you have to be as a team and the team team have to has to tell me why you are a good asset for the company okay like a class you no know, like a class just like a little bit no, plus, you have plus a plus a plus yes yes a plus, yes, yes. A plus. Okay. okay okay um so, so uh i if you prefer uh -huh. um i can uh read uh, uh -huh. for uh, for the example, uh, I read, well, um, let's start. Uh, I'm going okay. to tell you, I'm going to tell you about the company. I choose its Netflix. Okay. As a well, as a well, all know. Uh, but no, no, in the no. real life. In the real, no, in the real life, I am electronic technician. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, but I remember that teacher told, told us Mm -hmm. that we can invent yes yeah? and in the, in that case i invent my profile okay yeah and i told and i told to mr toyota that i can uh i could be make a, an economic and non-polluting polluting cars because i suppose that the objective to this ex exercise is use wool and cool yes yeah, and, yes. and this is my, that I, I don't know how do you say eso hice. I did it. Like, I did it. I did it. I, I, I use wool and cool. I will repeat again. Uh, interesting uh, interacting with with other people uh, uh, in the world did you finish I, I, I guys think... <clears throat> uh, mm. you have the activity um, yeah I, yes I, I think okay we think so okay excellent good job <laughs> De company, ¿verdad? Efficient. Efficient address.
Hi, back. Welcome back again. Teacher. Yes. Se fue luz acá. <laughs> really? Yeah. It is yeah. raining. Yes, it's raining. Ooh, sorry. Yeah. For it's for. You for know. Tengo la you know. In sorry. another. You know. Why do you don't you have the camera? Because porque no hay luz, no hay energía, entonces no veo nada. <laughs> oh, but yeah. you could try to turn it on and see if the light of the cell phone helps you. Um, yeah. Okay, in this time, in this time, just because you don't have the power, maybe when I go through the attendance, you can turn it on. But just this, just in this, just in this time, okay? Just in this occasion, when I go through the attendance. Okay, guys. Um, I have you ever? Heard, I don't know if you have ever visited another country like United States and I don't know so, some countries in Europe or some. I think some Latin American countries too. So people here, we have the cables in the sky. We can say right. So we have the cables and you can see all the cables going there. And in other countries, what they do is they have the cables underground. So if it rains yeah. or if it if we have a lot of wind, everything, it doesn't matter. You are gonna be okay because everything is underground. So I always dream about that. That is one that is one of my dreams for El Salvador, right? <laughs> to have underground cables so we don't have problems with the right like with the rain with the storms and everything okay out of the topic um okay we're ready i'm gonna go through the groups remember you were gonna work on a project as a team and you were gonna tell me why you as a team like all the people in your group why are you good for a company so I know that some groups choose chose Google, some other groups chose Apple, right? And so you have a part in everything that we're saying here. So you have you will have a time to speak. Okay. I don't know. You have prepared your 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 presentations, I guess. So let's go first with Anna, Flor, Kerry, William. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay. The the we choose Google. We want to work for Google. First of all, we are truly happy and excited to be here. I present to you my team is Anna, Kerry, William, and me, Flor. Well, Google mission is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. We definitely want to be part of that. And we know we have the cap capabilities to help make it happen. We work as a team and we value the creativity and effort of each one. We enjoy solving problems, but also driving at fresh new ideas. We can list all of our professional skills and abilities, but most important, the most important thing we want to show you is where we want to go in our career. And that place is in your company, Google. We believe that we can do a lot of a lot by being ourselves. Besides working for one of the best tech companies in the world, the great thing is that it is the great place to see, hear, meet very interesting and intelligent people who create a good work environment. Yes, and in this case, so I can continue. So uh, we are the best option for uh, work on Google because we have all the experience that you need. Uh, we have more experience to uh, different projects, to uh, websites. Uh, we design the websites for another companies and we love to work for new ideas and make uh, the best customer experience possible. Uh, we love to develop our skills and try to um, create new challenge for us and apply all the knowledge that we have um, 
uh, with the different tools and try to keep all the innovation innovation um, and we can um, give you all the new things that we have and the fresh ideas. Okay. I'm sorry that I can put my camera right now, but I'm going to talk about some of the benefits or to work in Google. The Google is well known to have a great list of benefits. I, I heard that they have very flexible way to work for the employees. They give the opportunity to work on site or in a remote way. Um, also, the company give, gives you rewards for your effort, for your development, um, depending on what you are interested for. For example, if I want to earn more money, they give you the opportunity to make commissions. But also if, have, if I want to have vacation or free days, they also give gives you the opportunity to have free days and that keeps, keeps you motivated to keep working. Excellent. Now I want to work in Google. Me too. The, yeah. The most the most important for work in Google is that we are a group that like uh, organize organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful for the all people in the world. Uh, is it's very interesting organize the the information and 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 create a web page universally. Uh, That's we it. Have the, okay. We have the capacity for this for this uh, this kind of work. I think so. Okay. Excellent. Good job, guys. Give them an applause. That was really, really, really good. So an applause Thank there. Thank you. Excellent. You have the reactions there. Don't be jealous. Give them an applause. Okay. Like that. That's a good applause. Nobody, you cannot use the reactions. You have their reacciones. You can use that and you can clap. You see how I'm clapping? Excellent. Very good. I see Diana. I see Jennifer. Miguel, excellent. Good job. Good job, guys. Let's go with the next group. The next group will be, try to make it in two minutes, guys. Uh, group three. We're going to go with Brenda, Merlin, Miguel, and Ruth. Sarai. Let's go. What's your company? Hello guys, uh, good evening. Um, in our case, uh, we choose a uh, Netflix uh, company. Uh, as a well, um, I know is dedicated to family entertainment with a series of programming for everyone. In our case, it would be a, a good asset for the company because um, we like uh, to add other type of program, for example, a program to learn to take care of the environment, program for children and education, to say a membership, so can you watch your serious programs on any device to have a cheaper line that uh, we can pay for, and we have short contract periods, three, six, and 10 months. Well, this is uh, uh, the, the company we choose. Uh, Netflix. Netflix, yes. Okay, and con let's go continue with the next person. And you have to talk about the benefits you are going to give the company, okay? Okay, uh, we choose Netflix because we have the capability and knowledge uh, to work in this company. I know that uh, has responsibility because uh, all people in the world like to see different series and movies. 
So we have the capability, knowledge, and we have a lot of, uh, we have challenge to, uh, to grow up in this company. So we choose Netflix because um, I know that we can, we can uh, give uh, more, uh, more options or more ideas to, to the platform. I don't know what is the platform. pronunciation. Yes. Okay, excellent. Okay. That's it? That's it? I don't know. Okay, um, then, then if that's it, let's go with the next yes, group. Yes, I can hear. If you, if you finish, if that's it, let's go with the next group then. Um, I mean, because it was Miguel, Merlin, Brenda, I don't know if you have something to say or, or Ruth. If you don't, then let's continue with the next group. Um, Diana, Jennifer, Juan Jose, Rolando. Hi, good evening guys. Uh, we choose back credomatic because right now is the most important band. Uh, they have the, the main part of assets in El Salvador. And also we, we will focus in create, by create an app that could help, uh, that could help people to how to manage their money. Diana, can you please share the screen? Yes, yes, yes. I was sharing, but I think I have a problem. Let me know if you can see my screen right now. Yeah. Okay. As I say, we choose back and all projects is create an app that can help people to manage their personal finances. 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 Uh -huh. Um, sorry. Just one second. We consider that we will be a great asset to back problematic because we would propose to the bank to create an app that can help people without any knowledge of financial uh, topics, how they can manage in a better way their money. We know that in this day and age, it's so difficult to have a, a job or also to have a good earns or to have a good salary because the economic situation is not good at all because the pandemic situation. So it could be an, a good option uh, to the people who can manage their expenses, their financial um, information also. And this will be as a part of a social responsibility with the customer because if you, if you have have the opportunity to see some um, advertising about how the bank try to help the people um, by advice with some tips about finances because no, there is not a lot of people that can that have the that have um, knowledge of that and also most of them spend more than they earn. So it's so important to have a budget of your revenues and also for your expense. Okay, thank you. Guys, try to keep it brief. Uh, I don't know if you, like maybe you can have like 30 seconds to, to speak. It's okay what you have done so far, but try to make like a resume because we have in the slide the presentation just to, um, to make it brief for the other students so they can participate as well, okay? So let's okay. go. What our team will do to make it real? Uh, Jennifer provided fin financing, financing information because of her experience on accounting. 
She will help to have good advices and has a lot of knowledge to manage in the right way personal finances. Jennifer could guide the programming team on how the app should work. And Diana will create a campaign to promote the new app. She could organize a launch event where the bank, the, where the bank tell their customers the new app and all the details. And also, I will prepare a budget with the details of the platforms to be used to publicize this app. Um, and these are some of the tips that the customers will find in the app. Never spend more, never spend more than you earn. Template uh, with the step by step to create your budget and save twenty percent of your salary for any emergency. The app will be connected with your online banking to have a status of your finances and remind the client if your budget is following as you were designed. And that's all we have with Jennifer because we have some problems to to, to organize with the with the Rolando and Juan Jose, but they prepare the exercise by their self. Okay. Okay. So by themselves, that means they're gonna share the screen or, or they are doing yes. one of Yes, yes, yes. Oh, but I don't know. Okay. Yes, yes. Juan Jose, can you share your screen and explain your 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 presentation, please? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> what company I would like to to work? Uh, I would like to work on uh, Microsoft, but um, in a um, especially in, in particular, uh, Microsoft has uh, many departments, and one of the department is um, for design video games. Uh, but the video game, um, currently many video games, company design video game about fight and murder. That is it's dangerous for the, for the children. Um, this has violence. Uh, children also, they stop the imagination for the children. And uh, I would like to build better video game destined to create values uh, the life of the children. Um, to build innovation for the children through video games. Um, in this moment, I think that it's very necessary uh, to create uh, values on the children uh, because many of the video games are dangerous, very dangerous. For that, I would like to, to work in that uh, company. Okay, excellent. I like that, that idea, right? Th that's your presentation? Yes. Excellent. Good job, Juan Jose. I like the timing. Very good. Let's go with the other one. Yes, guys, because time is priceless right now. Okay, I I understand that I will make an um, interview in a company and use a uh, cool and wool. And I did it. Okay. And and I will read. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, Mr. Toyota. I will apply to Toyota Company in this interview. I will explain. Hello, Mr. Toyora. My name is Rolando Quintanilla. I'm a designer. I'm interested in, an, in a new place in your company. I will be a great asset in Toyota company uh, because I could design the perfect motor for the Toyota cars. I could make an economic and non polluting cars because I will use new renewable elements. I will be of a great help in Toyota company. Thanks. Excellent. Well, you understood different, but you use the cool and wool, so I will take that as an okay, right? Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, let's go with the last group then. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So I understand it was difficult, so the other time I'm going to explain myself better, maybe. Let's go with the last group. The last group will be, in this case, Anna, Flor, Kerry, William. Guys, try to keep it brief please, because the time is running and I need to explain other things. We were the first. Oh, you were the first. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm thinking. We teacher. Um, 
the Ruth, Jessica, and Amy. So it's Ruth, yes. Anna, Beatriz, Suleima, and Jessica. Yeah. Yes. yes. Excellent. Yes. Let's go. Well, the member of my teams are Suleima, Jessica, um, and Ruth. Um, we we select we choose a company. The name is Apple, and we think we will a uh, great asset uh, in my case because I have a lot of experience in legal support and um, so I have uh, a lot of experience in intellectual uh, property rights so the company uh, have a uh, legal protection and register the brand so I'm going to give you the opportunity Suleima to explain another benefit for work this company hi guys good evening uh, with my group, with Ruth, Jessica, and Anna, we went uh, talking about uh, why we want to work in the Apple store. Uh, some benefits that we find is because we have a new ideas. We're a group that has many experience working uh, with cell phones and cells. We have to, we want to reduce the prices for those cell phones. We were, we already know that they are they are really expensive, right? So uh, then good benefits that we want to give uh we are going to open many stores in many places or country and people that can't buy those phone where we are going to reduce the price and to spend the stores and as well we are going to give more more opportunities to new people that can uh work in this company with us and as well, uh, in my case, I can I have experience selling things for my job too. So I'm going to do many um, advices. Yes, ask uh, about um, cell phones, and I'm going to look for the young people to introduce uh, all the new ideas because we already know that young people is the most people that buy cell phones, new cell phones, the new area. So with my group, we were talking about that because we can more, uh, make more money for that and help others people to, to win something. And, and Ruth is going to talk about um, the customer experience as well. Thank you. I'm sorry, good job. <laughs> good evening. Um, I work uh, for Acceso Financiero. It's a bank. Um, I work a uh, credit promoter. It benefits a uh, company. Excellent service. A uh, customer. Quality work. And fast service. And the, and the moment. Okay, in my case, I, in, I, we can improve cost about materials uh, because the cell phones are more expensive, actually. Uh, so we can try to improve the cost. Uh, to, um, uh, to make better budget and because it's my it's my area uh, with the financial that's all okay okay excellent guys thank you very much thank you for your participations okay so maybe 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 it was something that I explained and not so good because when like we weren't on the same page do you know the meaning of on the same page do you know the meaning no yes yeah so we weren't on the same page right so no estamos ahí en el mismo right so 
for the next time that we do something like this, I'm gonna give you an example on how to do it. And then I'm gonna ask you to do it. A few observations that I have. The first observation is the word invent because you were saying like, no, the teacher say that we can invent. The teacher say that we can invent. No, 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 don't say invent. Say, make it up. So instead of invent, you can say, make it up. So make up something, it means that you create it out of nowhere and you're in your imagination, make up, okay? Like the makeup, it's the same, make up. So you can make it up, right? That is the first thing. The other one is with pronunciation. The past of choose is chose. Okay, choose, the past is chose. The other one uh, is, a person said the new era is the new generation. The word finances is not pronounced finances, it's pronounced finances, okay? Finances, excellent. Uh, Details, no. Details is like you're saying the, the strong, the stress in the, in the second part is details. Details. The stress is in the first syllable. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah. So now let's go to the other part. In this presentation, you were going to talk about why you are a benefit for this company. I know the benefits for the of the company for you, but why you? What is so special about you that you are going to be a benefit or a great asset for this company? Like in the conversation, the person was describing that he could speak a little bit of Chinese, that he was really good with large, project, large, large projects. So that, like, why am I good for this position? And the benefits you will do, and you as, let me remember, it was Rolando. Yes, I was, what, what Rolando was saying, it's like cool, cool and cool. You could have add those words in the presentations, right? Like cool and cool. But that's okay, don't worry. Don't make your life large faces because your faces right now are like this. You look so happy right now that you're making me happy super happy don't worry guys this is not an evaluation this is just a time for you to speak okay so don't worry uh but for the next time i'm gonna give you like a better example so you can understand better okay yes excellent yes. okay um guys today we have another topic and we're gonna continue with that topic right now so i'm gonna share my screen with you so you can see what I'm talking about. And yes, we have like 10 minutes because I need to go to the to the attendance again. Oh, and I was saying before, now that I think most of you are here, I had a class that I was giving um, before this one, right? So that's why I was coming late to classes, like at 8.01, 8.02, but now I don't have that class anymore. So that means that I'm gonna be connecting at 7.55 or 7.58, 7.59. What I'm trying to say is that I'm gonna be here before 8 p.m. So at 8 p.m. I'm gonna start with the first attendance, right? So you have to be here with your cameras on, full, na full names and everything. So at eight, I go through the first attendance. So that in that case, I will have the time for 9 p.m. I go through the second attendance and then at the, at the end of the class. Okay, um, let me share my screen. There we go. So can you help me read the topic for today, please? Suleyma. Oh, Suleyma, I like your presentation about the, the, the prices of Apple. I, I know, I agree. <laughs> okay, teacher. Okay. Um, how to use time expressions. Thank you very much. How to use time expressions. Very good, Suleyma. Let's go with the date. Can you read the date, Ruth Sarai, please? Um, okay. Um, it's Friday, May 14th, 2021. 
excellent. Friday, May 14th, 2021. Excellent. Very good. Uh, yesterday, someone asked me, teacher, can you give me an structure for the for the could be and will be? Yes, this is the correct structure. Subject, could and will, must be, or if you have another verb, it's okay, the other verb, and then a complement. So, for example, I could be your friend. Okay. It will be a great, I don't like this. Let me, yeah, this is better. That is better. I will be a great asset to the company, right? So like this, but yesterday, I know you had problems yesterday because sometimes we have complex subjects and sometimes a verb can be a subject. So that's why you were having like a little bit of trouble yesterday with these examples. Let me see if I can find the example. Yes, this one. So you were like, someone was asking me that. So for example, this one. It is the subject of the sentence. It will be, of course, it will be. So this is the verb here, it will be. And then you have to make sense of the sentence. The complement, you have to make the complement to make sense that is correct, okay? So it will be a great opportunity to study abroad. In this case, there's no a uh, formula that will help you. In this case, you have to make the sentence work. Like it has sense, it, make, it makes sense, or it makes sense. So it makes sense. It's your job in your mind, you have to make it up like, and you have, you have to make it work, right? But out of the topic, I'm sorry, out of the topic. So the topic we have for today is how to use uh, time expressions. Let me share my screen with you. I'm going to read this conversation for you. In this conversation, the ball parts, so this is called ball, like negrita, ball. So the ball parts indicate when we have a time expression. So for example, we have from, to, for, until, then, since, long. So I'm going to explain to you how they work. When can we use them? But first, we're going to continue. I mean, we're going to go with this conversation. Again, I'm going to read it twice. The first time, I'm going to read it for pronunciation. And the second time, I'm going to read it for intonation. Okay? Tell me about your, your work experience. I worked. Remember the pronunciation of the... Mm, I'm just going to make you a question really quick. Do you know how to pronounce the ED at the end of the regular verbs? Like a T. Always? Um, no way. Not always. Sometimes if the, it is the last consonant is a vowel, or a consonant, I think has a different pronunciation. Do you want me to reinforce that topic? Mm, no. No, you don't want me to reinforce the topic? I can understand very well the question. Quiere que refuerce ese tema. Yes. Yes. Vale, les voy a dar la clave, y lo voy a decir en español, les voy a dar la clave excelente para saber, lo voy a decir en español rápido, para saber cuándo un verbo regular se pronuncia con ed, cuándo se pronuncia solo con la t y cuándo se pronuncia solo con la d, porque hay tres pronunciaciones. Entonces, la primera es facilísimo. Si el verbo termina en t o en d, t or d, en ese momento sí se pronuncia la ed, como decir want, wanted, ahí pronuncia la ed como está. Wanted, ¿ok? Need Needed. Siempre que termine en T y en D, voy a decirlo así. Wanted, needed. Solo en esos casos. Ahora, al final, 
for example, el verb que estamos viendo ahí, verb work, work, you don't say work it, never, please, oh my God, it will hurt my heart if you say work it, no. So in this case, there are two options. We can either say the verb with a T or like a T, t or we can say it with a what? D, like th, th, th. So how do we identify, identify this? So look at this. You're gonna touch your, at the beginning it will be difficult, but then you will learn. So for example, the word work, work. So the last letter, the last letter of the word is k, k, work, k. So k, k. So I, I, don't, I don't care, don't be afraid, I, do, do it, do as I do. So you put your fingers here, so son los que sienten el pulso, verdad? And say k. <laughs> you scare me. <laughs> okay, let's do it with this. So you will do the sound. K, k, k. Vibra, la, vibra la garganta? Yes. De verdad, vibra. A little. Digan la R. R vibra? Sí. Ahora yes. digan. K, k, k. Vibra? No. No. No, ahí está la diferencia. Cuando no vibra, en la última letra suena como una T, la ED. So, work va a sonar como worked, 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 worked. worked. ¿ok? Worked. So, worked. worked. I worked yesterday. I worked yesterday. Now, si la letra sí si vibra, va a sonar como una D. Travel, viajar. Travel. travel. Digan la L. Vibra. Me dice que no y no se ha tocado la garganta. Ok. Yes. It does vibrate. So, en ese caso yo voy a agregar una D al final. Traveled. 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 It's different if I say traveled. Traveled. Doesn't make sense. Traveled. So, En resumen, si termina en T y en D, lo pronuncio como ED. Si termina en, una, en, una, en un sonido seco, se pronuncia con T. Y si termina en un sonido que vibra, se pronuncia con D, la ED. ¿Yes? En resumidas cuentas, esa es la fórmula para saber cómo decir los irregulares. Los regulares, I mean. ¿Yes? Mm -hmm. So, for example, walk. <laughs> for example, walk. ¿Cómo sería walk? Walk. 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 Right? Walk. Okay. Walk. Excellent. Good job. Good job, guys. You learn really fast. So let's go with this. Tell me about your work experience. Wait a minute. I'm going to mute everyone. Okay. I worked at Unilever. Unilever? On the liver for five years. Five, v, v, five. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered, offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? What happened th there? It was just, oh my God, guys. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't see it good. Now it's better. Yeah, oof, now it's better. So, okay. And what happened there? It was just for a short, short, period, period of time. It was just for eight months, months, until, until my project, project, no project, right? Project was done. Then I came back, came back to, you can say El Salvador or El Salvador. 
And you have, have, remember the pronunciation of the V, have not worked since you, since, since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, so let's go. Wait a minute, I'm gonna do it with, <clears throat> I'm gonna do it with intonation now. Tell me about your work experience. I work at Unili Unilever, I think it's Unilever. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, but you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, do you have questions about the pronunciation? Nope. If you don't have questions, then we can just go ahead. Uh, you have the conversation in the workbook. If you don't have the workbook, uh, you can take a screenshot like this. Okay. Yes, you ready? Oh my God, guys, you're so quiet today. What's going on? Is it because it's Friday? <laughs> no. Is it because it's Friday? <laughs> Maybe you had plans. You want to go out today? No, teacher. Tomorrow yeah. is Saturday and I have to work. <laughs> Some people may have to work on Saturdays. I know that. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, let's go. Um, some people are going to be in a group of three. So the people that are in a group of three just take turns. Okay. Let me see. Let's go. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is okay. Let's go. Practice the conversation, please.
I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? I was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until I, my project was done. Then I came back to the Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, <laughs> you know, but then mm, have not been for long. They have not, no, they have not been for long. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now. Mm. We are three, mm -hmm. right? Or just yes. two? Three. Oh, we, we can do it again. I think that we are three, right? Hey? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hello, hello, hello. What hello. happened? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's a, a technician problem because I I didn't have internet for a couple of minutes. Okay, and you were working with? Ruth Sarai. No, no, uh, she, she left the meeting and no, not practice. Okay, so can you guys practice together here? Yes, of course. Yes. And Ruth can Sanchez too. Yes. So Ruth Sanchez too. Okay. Can you please share your screen? Me? Yes, because I didn't take the... Okay, ah, okay, just take the screenshot. Okay, take the screenshot. Okay. And... Yeah. No. Jennifer, you are just Julio and me, Ana. Ok, tomen la captura, chicas, que voy a, voy a, hacer de, a dejar de compartir. Ok. Practiquen Jennifer, Ruth y bueno, las dos Ruth. Ruth estará ahí en Ruth Sánchez. Ok. Excelente. Yo tuve problemas con la señal, se me conectó un ratito. Entonces practique aquí. Practique aquí porque en su grupo ya no había nadie. Ok. Ocupé diferentes posiciones en la company. I start like extra section after I was a secretary. And when I finish my Did you my degree, finish practicing the conversation? Uh, no, we are really? using we own work experience. We finished the conversation and now we were asking about how many years, like the conversation asked uh, if the person has, have, has worked, had, been. had been working. Okay, so we were so working with the conversation. You have the correct pronunciation for all the words, right? So I want to hear you. Okay, let's go. Ana, you're going to be Julio, and Suleima, you're going to be Ana. And then okay. we'll go with Miguel. Okay. Tell me about your work experience. Okay, I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you had not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs. Independent independent jobs. Okay. I'm going to tell um, about Julio. Uh, tell me about your work to work experience. 
I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2015. Hello? I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And Sorry. Sorry, oh, that's teacher. Okay. That's okay. Selena. I had some troubles with my, the computer. That's okay. Don't worry. It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project. Que conveniente, Miguel. El más largo me dejó a mí. Until my oh. project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked uh, since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know. But they have okay. not been for long. Okay. If you prefer, I'm going to be Ana. No, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> okay ¿Sí ¿Escucharon perfect. que las tre los tres tuvieron algunos problemitas de pronunciación? Yes. Sí. For example, yes, independent. 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 <laughs> or, y en lugar, en lugar de decir came, dijeron came back. Came back. Came back. Came oh. back. Came back. Okay, came entonces, back. la pronunciación, por eso está ahí, para que practiquen esa conversation, right? Sí, claro okay. que estaba bien lo que estaban haciendo. No les digo que está mal para nada. Está buenísimo porque, de hecho, es un ejercicio que viene ahorita. <laughs> so, It's okay, but try to practice the conversation para que esa pronunciación se mejore. Y ustedes digan, no, mire, yo creo que la teacher dijo así. Ok, se, se ayudan entre ustedes. Yes? Okay. okay. Excellent. Good job, guys. Okay. And when can we can repeat? Okay. You uh, tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs. You know, start start again. Okay. Uh, tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months. Until my project was done, then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about your work. When did Anna start working in when did Anna start working in Unilever? When did this when did she stop working there? But two questions. Do you understand the question? Um so I don't have the link to ah. enter in the platform. I I took an screenshot. I was. Ah, okay. You don't have. So you don't have access to the platform, Merlin. Uh, not yet. Why? Because um, I can Uh, so when I I try to enter in the platform in the platform, I I was doing in my cell phone, but I lost my cell phone. Oh, okay. So now you're waiting for your link again. Have you? Ya les escribió yes. inglés corporativo para que le manden de nuevo la información. Sí, sí. Voy a mandar un, un email para que me vuelvan a mandar el link. Okay, perfecto. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Entonces le tomé un screenshot. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Quit. Quit. I just. <laughs> And. Uh, not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay. Hi, Kerry. Now, if you oh. want, Kerry and uh, me. Ruth. Uh, okay. 
because we have Kerry in the group. Oh, also we have Juan Jose. Jose. Kerry and Juan Jose, Juan Jose. maybe. Okay, mm -hmm. I will be Julio, <laughs> okay. Um, tell me about your work experience. Oh, um, excuse me, excuse me, I, okay. Uh, I worked on- Oh, hello, hello, hello. Excuse me, <laughs> yes. Hello guys, don't worry. We came Hello. back to the main station. Okay. Ya no estamos en los break rooms. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Excellent, good job. Okay guys, a uh, few questions. You had problems with some words. It's interesting yeah. because one of the words that was a problem was independent, right? That was like in some groups I went and the independent was a problem. Independent, okay. Uh, the other word that was like, okay, let me show you the screen so we can see what we're talking about. So independent, because many people were saying like independent, independent. And that is not correct. Independent, right? Independent. Remember the stress. Okay, uh, 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 and you, some people commit, like, they, they did the mistake again, so offer it, no, offer it, mm -mm. okay, offer, offer, correct, offered. correct, offer, mm, the other word, the other word, the what, other about, uh, what about, what uh, about, I saw one, happened, 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 is, is with D, yeah, Ah. Say the end. Mm, yeah. Happened. 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 Yeah. Happened. happened. Okay. Happened. I have okay. problem with this. Okay. Do you have any problems with other pronunciations? Mm. Uh, what is the pronunciation of Panama? Panama. You can say Panama, Panama. or Panama. Both are correct because okay. we can speak Spanish. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And, and is Unilever. Es Unilever? Yeah, it's oh, a company. Okay. I, yeah, I know it's a company, but I don't know if Unile Unilever, because uh, Unilever, but Unilever, yeah, I don't know. Okay, thank you, Rolando. Thank you for that. Uh, any other questions, guys? Le uh, guys. Quit or quiet? Quit. quit. Quiet is with E at the end. Like, qu quiet. It's different. Quiet is like be quiet. Mm -hmm. And quit quiet. is like to give up oh, something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh, guys, let's do something here. When you have a question, maybe try raising the hand. Do you know how to raise the hand? Yeah. How to? Show me. In the options. Excellent. There you go. You see how many people raising the hand? And in that case, we allow everyone to have an opportunity to speak, right? Because when you say teacher, I'm like, oh my God, it's like so many people saying teacher, I don't identify you. How uh, can so I do far. it? I, I, I can't. Okay, the way you can raise your hand is there in the options. If you can see there in the, you have three dots, maybe you can see it there. And if you cannot see it there, it's on the, on the chat, I think it's on the chat or participantes, guys. Participantes. Oh, is it participantes? Okay, there you can raise your hand. Try to do it. Mm. Yes, Anna raised the hand and Jessica raised the hand. I can't. <laughs> you can't? Mm -hmm. It's in participants, it should be in participants. Okay, so let's continue because I have to continue. Okay. Okay, good. So you had other other um other questions there, so we're gonna answer those questions. But I'm gonna ask the people to read the questions. Um can you please Suleima read the first two questions? Okay, well, just the first one, just the first one. When did Anna start working in Unilever? Um Flor. Can you give me the answer? Yes, yeah, since uh, 2011 to 2000. Oh, well. No, 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 just the start. No, it's only mm -hmm. start. 2011. 
2011. Thank you. Ana Elizabeth, can you read the next question? Sure. When did she stop working there? Jessica. She stopped working 2016. In, to, in 2016. 2016. Excellent. Um, Juan Jose, can you read the, this one? Your microphone is off. Okay. Why did she quit her job in Unilever? Unilever, okay. William, Antonio? She has a new job. She was offered a new job, right? She was offered a new job. Excellent. Uh, Merlin? Your microphone is off. Have you ever done independent job? Have you ever done independent jobs? So I'm gonna make that question for you guys, for everyone here. So if you have done independent jobs, give me a thumbs up. In the reactions, you have the thumbs up. Reactions. Have you ever done independent jobs? No, you haven't? I have. Yes, I haven't. You haven't? Okay, so the people that have, give me a thumbs up. Excellent, so Jennifer, Brenda, Ruth, Rolando is like this. <laughs> I don't know where teacher, but yeah. <laughs> Ana too, Ana Beatriz. Okay. Okay. And you can do it like this if you haven't. So independent jobs, for example, if you have sale products, if you have, um, I don't know, work independently. So you work basically for yourself. I have done that in the pandemic. Or, we, yeah, we learn how to do stuff like that, right? Like los emprendimientos. Nowadays, that is that is, the, that is a, a big thing. But everyone is doing that. So it's like, how can I support everyone? I don't know how to, but yeah. <laughs> El hambre. Okay, guys. Oh, look, at this part here. So someone sent a video yesterday. And yes, but there's a problem. I cannot play videos for you here in the class because there's something called copyright, okay? If I do something illegal, so I won't be able to upload the videos to YouTube. So I cannot play videos for you. But you have there in the material, the links to go to these videos. These are like a reinforcement that you can have for example, the first video here says, watch this video about addressing work experience in a job interview. So how you talk about your work experience. The second video says, watch this video about how to speak about your job. So I encourage you to go ahead and look uh, on, on, the, on the platform in, in the book. So every class, at the end of the class, you see, again, you have here the links for the video. And again, you have here the links for another video. Uh, like, is is right after the conversation. Ruth Sarai, tell me. Ruth Sarai. The first video, yes, uh, the first video is not available. It's not available? Available. Yes. Oh, it's okay. If it is not available, it's okay. You can play the other one. Because sometimes they delete the videos. Diana, tell me. Uh, I click on the link, but it's not available for me. The first one? This one? Yes. Let me in look the, for it. In the manual. Oh, yeah the video is not available. It's okay, it's okay. If it is not available, it's okay, don't worry. You can watch another. Okay, Anna. Teacher, is there any problem? It's fine. If I, I don't have English boot. I don't have materials. I only practice in the platform. You, you, you have a book. Uh, but I don't in have... the platform. Yeah, only in the platform online. Or... But you have you have the book on the platform. Yeah. 
and you can see the book on the platform. Yes. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, that's okay. As long as you are able to see the book, even if it is only online, it's okay. The option of downloading the the manual or print it is up to you. So if you want to do it, you can do it. If you don't, if you can't do it, that's okay. Just use it online. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. If if someone wa want to watch uh, the video, can copy the the URL and paste in the in, in the in YouTube. Did you do it? And yes. Did it work? I got it. Yes. The first video. The first video interview question part part one discussing discussing for job experience. This is the video. Oh, really? But do you have like a VPN? Because it says it's not available to me. I'm going to show you. Yeah. Can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Do you see el video no está disponible? Yes. So yeah, I don't know why, but so maybe for you work. William, but, maybe you can copy the link that you're watching and, pay, and, and send it to I, the chat here. I paste in, in the page of YouTube, but it's the presentation, it's not a video. It's a presentation? Yes. I don't know, I don't know what is the problem. Okay guys, but I need to go ahead. So let's go here. This is the topic, the main topic actually for today. Thank you for your help, William. So this is the main topic for today, guys. When we're talking about time, okay, we use different time expressions. So in this case, we have these time expressions for, since, from, but from, it's always a when, sometimes when you're talking about expressions, it's accompanied by to, okay? From and to, to state the start and end of a time. So I stayed there from January to November, right? So this one. Use then, then, then we have until, right? So we have different uses for this. I'm gonna explain them to you. The first one that we have there is for. Can you help me read what it says in for, please? Miguel, I see you really like thinking. So help me, Miguel Angel. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, can you can you read that? All the all these use for plus period of time. Okay, you cannot you, see it. Use, okay, okay. I don't hear very well. You are going to read. Just read that part. Okay. Uh, use form plus a period of time. I work it in Indiana for seven years. I work it? Work it. Work. 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 You don't pronounce the ED. You just say worked. Work. Worked. Okay. Mm -hmm. Indiana, okay, Indiana the company, right? <laughs> Let's okay. go with the other one, Brenda. Brenda. Brenda, se le perdió su... Sorry. It's, uh, I, I have worked there since uh, 2005. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you have to read since this place here. Ah, you since a specific points in the past. I have worked there since 2005. Thank you very much. Kerry, Kerry. Use from to state the start and the end of the time. I stay from January. I stay there. I stay there. I stay, I stay there 
from January to November. January. January to okay. November. Kerry, do you know, like, your name? I know a person that has your name, but this person is from the United States. So they call her Kerry. That's Carrie. why I always want to say your name like Kerry. But I know it's <laughs> Kerry, right? Kerry. Uh, some people call me Kerry. And uh, I think that it's right at the both ways. <laughs> okay, okay. Both <laughs> ways is correct for you? Yes. Excellent. No good. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Juan Jose? <clears throat> Use then to introduce a new event in a series. I worked in, a, in that company until uh, 2011, then I quit. I quit. Okay, excellent. Very good. Can you help me? Mm, William. Use until to, mar to mark the end of an activity period of time. I worked in Panama until my project was over. Thank you very much. So guys, let's talk, let's go ahead one by one. So the first one here, use for to stay the period of time. So for example, I work in Indiana for seven years. I have lived in El Salvador for 27 years. I have worked in that place for eight months, for seven days, four. So the time, you're counting the time, right? While you did this activity, yes? Is it understandable? Okay, now let's go with scenes. Okay, excuse me, it's correct to say for the night. Tell me the example where you wanna say it. Mm, I played guitar for the night. Yeah, but you can also say in the night. Oh, in the at night. night, oh no, 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 I'm sorry. What Diana, que está diciendo? At night. <laughs> Uh, at night. At night. It's not correct for the night. Mm, in this case, if you say I stay there for the night, me quedé ahí por la noche. Yes. Pero si quiere decir como yo toqué guitarra en la noche, it's mm. at night. At night. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Very Thank good. you. Let's go with the next one. This. No, no, no. This one. This one. This one. I'm sorry. You scenes. Scenes is like to talk about the start when something started right so we have had the covid since 2019 right that's an example i have been learning english since that this is my case since 2011 i or you have lived in panama since 2005 or you have been in this module since when did we start? We started on Wednesday, right? So we have been in this class since Wednesday, right? So you have to establish when, exactly when that activity started. Yes? It can be a month. It can be a day. It can be a year. And it can also be a time. For example, I have been waiting for you since 7 a.m., right? So I'm establishing the time, the period of time when I started or when someone else started doing that activity. Yes? Excellent. I just see your faces. Some, some of your faces are like, so, and I suppose that's a yes. I don't know. <laughs> From two, this is also used for, uh, for example, when you wanna give a gift uh, to someone, En la cartita dice de para, from to. So it's, you can use it that day, in that case too. But in this case, it says, use from to state the start and end of the time. So for example, I start there from January to November. Or I work from 5 to 6. I work from 7 to, from, from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, you're saying two times when it started and when it ended, right? In this case, you say two times. When did the activity start? 
when did the activity end? End. Yes, very good. Teacher, is the same, excuse me, is the same in, in the email uh, from to? Exactly, exactly. But in this case, it's for times. But in, in the emails and in the invitations, it's different because it means de para. Okay. Y en este caso significa desde hasta. Desde hasta, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Let's go with the next one. Then. This is really useful. And every time you're speaking, this is like a useful word. Use then to introduce a new event in a series. So you're explaining something and then you want to say something else. You see? You can use then to mark the steps. So the next activity, I'm going to mention the next, next activity. Okay, I use then. So for example, I was working and then... I went to bed. I was eating and then I took a nap. You know what is a nap? Nap. Take a nap. Nap. You know what is, but it's the past, right? Like took a nap. Do you know what it is, Anna? No. no take teacher. a nap. Take a nap. Tomar una yes. yes. Yeah. 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 So took a nap is in the past. A little rest. Yeah, a little one. Yo a little, no, no es así hasta de, de 10 horas, ¿verdad? Que, que me, me dormí a la una y me desperté a las 10 de la noche. ¿Mm? Ok, <laughs> let's go to the next one. Until, this is very useful as well. And you can use until or till. Some people, uh, this is very important for you to know. Some people don't say until, they only say till. Like this, till. But it's just an abbreviation. So use until to mark the end. So in this case, you're going to talk about the end of an activity or period of time. I worked in Panama until, so it ended, bye-bye, until my project was over. I'm not going to go home until I finish my work. Okay? No puedo ir a casa hasta que termine mi trabajo. Until until okay yes is this clear for you guys or not yes okay yes. very yes. good now let's do this part oh 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 there's no one here but i'm going to explain this to you long so for example you can say long como like what do you have this where do you have long Okay, so, but they have not been, but they have not been for long. So, for example, you want to say that activity was not long. <laughs> the was period short. of the time was short, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, that's when you use long. Okay, uh, we're going to complete this activity with using four scenes from to and long here. Okay, so you're going to complete this activity. I'm going to send you to the breakout room, so please take a screenshot. <laughs> you scare me again, Diana. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry. Okay, because the first time she did this and she was like, uh, and I was like, what did she do? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go with this. I'm going to help you and I'm going to give you the example so you know what we're doing. It's pretty clear to you the activity we're doing. So Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador, in 1985. She graduated, because, miren, termina con una, graduated from U, well, UCA, because it's a proper name, from UCA University. She studied there. What do you think it is here? Hmm, what can it be? From? 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 from to. From, from, two. from 2005 to 2011. Okay. Yes. So you do you understand the activity? Did you take the screenshot? Yes. Excellent. Yes. So I'm going to send you to the groups so you can crack. You can do the activity. So I'm going to send you to small groups. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go.
Jennifer, did you get the invitation? Excellent. company. Okay. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager um, was, no, no. Mm. Mm, the man who was the manager the manager um, it could be or almost maybe mm -hmm. For almost, almost for fifteen. Are you sure? Fifteen for, years. For almost for almost fifteen years. Or since. Mm. Uh, I don't know. For I think. For, for almost yes. fifteen years. Mm -hmm. Until I think, because the yeah. the sentence What's the, the sentence says the man who was the manager until almost fifty year retired. No. Al almost until 15, until almost fifteen mm. years retire. For almost. Mm -hmm. For almost. For almost. almost. For almost. He's yes, for almost. Yeah. For he's... almost. For almost 15, 15. Uh, years. Retire. His name is. What? Was? His, His name was Gonzalo. And he worked. And, and he worked and there. He from 2000. Sims. Sims. Um, same or until he worked there until since I work in Panama until my job was over. You think that is since? Yes, I I agree with with this since. Okay. Okay. Mm. To make this dream come. To because then, man, uh, mm -hmm. I can I can read. In what part are you guys? Excuse me. What part are you working on? Um. And after she worked in Molsa for seven years, I think that is until you she are. Was a okay, so there, when you say she worked in Molsa for seven years, yes. Before you say she work in Molsa, you are introducing a new activity. 
Yes. Then. So, then. Exactly. Then. Because yes, you're introducing okay. a new activity. Then she was afraid. Mm -hmm. Then. You then, she was, then she was a child. Years. Since she was a child. Yes, since. Because you're talking about the period of time when that yeah. since mm. she was a child. I'm confused with until. Until? Until, until. is like hasta. Yeah. That's the meaning, exactly the meaning, hasta. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because 2011, uh, she worked in Mosa work, for seven work. years. So work, uh, work, then work. since she was a child, uh, she wanted, wanted since the, since, See. since she was a child, she wanted uh, to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much uh, to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager the time. Uh, for... En español. <laughs> en español ella dijo de que cuando terminaba en ED, eh, se pronunciaba como T. En este caso wanted. sería wanted. Um, wanted. She wanted. She, she wanted. wanted. Cuando she termina, wanted. cuando termina con T o con D, si se pronuncia uh -huh. D. So, she wanted. Wanted. She wanted. wanted. Sí, ahí se pronuncia we, la E D. Wanted. Ah, ok. She wanted. wanted. Teacher. Um, we can say she wanted. No. Yeah, you can say she wanted. That is the correct pronunciation, actually. But I'm telling you, she wanted because it's like how it's greeting. But wanted, okay. it's okay. Wanted. She wanted, wanted to be a manager. Wanted exactly. Wanted. wanted. Okay. It's better. She wanted okay. to be a manager. She wanted to be a manager. Yeah. She wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She mm -hmm. didn't know how to wait much <clears throat> to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager, 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 perdí la palabra. For, for almost, for almost, almost. 15 years. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Hi. Hi. Guys, do you know what? 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 I forgot the nine attendants. Yes, yes, at night. <laughs> and now I was setting an alarm for every Monday, 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 9 p.m. I have an alarm. So at 9, it will sound the alarm. So it means that I have to go through the attendance. <laughs> y le iba a decir, le iba a decir, pero... You should have, you should have. <laughs> do it the next time, okay? We're going okay. to do it. Okay, because sometimes my mind has like a lot of things inside it. And I'm like, I, I cannot do it all. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead with the attendance. <laughs> I didn't do it at 9, but that's okay. I'm gonna do it right now, okay? Remember your cameras has have to be on and it, it, a lot of people like they don't have the attendance for today because they came late. So, Ana Beatriz Valencia Ruiz. I'm here. Excellent. Ana Elizabeth Berrios de Sandoval. I'm here. Berrios, right? Yes. Okay. Um, Brenda Erlinda Sáenz Villatoro. I'm here. Claudia Lorena Carca Morgueta. She doesn't come. Okay. Uh, Estefanía Alexandra Aguilar Céspedes. She, no. Okay. Um, Florida Alma Ramírez Calderón. I'm here. Harbin Isaac Guevara Miranda. No, Harpin, no, we know it, creo. Yeah, we didn't. Um, Jennifer Gisela Lopez Sánchez. I'm here. Juan José Ávalos Campos. I'm here. Katia Margarita Herrero Pérez. Kerry Tiffany Rosales Figueroa. Here. Um, Merlin Lisbeth Ventura Cruz. I'm here. Miguel Ángel Centeno. I'm here. Rolando Antonio Quintanilla, Ciudad Real. I'm here. Ruth Saraí Medrano Aguilar. I'm here. Ruth Noemí Sánchez Pérez. Se desconectó por el internet, creo. Zuleima Lisset Méndez Romero. I'm here, teacher. Um, William Antonio Morales Mancia. I'm here. And Jessica Janari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. Teacher, you didn't And mention me. Silvia. Oh, Diana, okay. Silvia Maria Rivera Rivas, no? Okay, Diana Yesenia Reyes Alas. I'm here. Of course. <laughs> okay, guys, I set an alarm for that time because. Yeah, I have like I I forgot. I forgot the nine one. But yeah, that, that's okay. Everyone is here, the ones that are here. Okay, today we have another session, the private session. And today's turn. Do you remember? If it is your turn or you don't remember. I'm gonna look at this. So today is Brenda. Right, Brenda? Okay. Yes. Yeah. And Brenda was like, oh, yes, uh -huh. teacher. Yes. <laughs> yeah, me, teacher. Don't worry. <laughs> and on Monday, we have Claudia Lorena Carcamo. If she connects. Okay. Uh, for the next class. Okay. This is for next class. On Monday, you will have a lot of time to do it. I want you to tell me about your work experience using the time expressions from to scenes blah 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 so for example in my case i my first job i work as a teaching assistant in the inu so that's instituto nacional de solutan seen i started working from january 2015 to December or November 2015. I, and then something that I'm doing right now, I have worked at Inglés Corporativo since 2020, okay? That's my examples, or those are my examples, just two examples that I'm gonna give you. I have worked in other, many, many other places, but it's not about me, it's about you, right guys? So I want you to talk to me about your work experience. I'm sure some of you are going to be like, 
no, teacher, I, yo solo le voy a decir que he trabajado en el lugar que estoy desde tal fecha, because that's my first job, right? <laughs> But some other people are going to talk to me about a really long work experience. I don't know, you, you have worked in many places maybe. And some people are going that maybe they, they have worked a lot, but they have worked in the same place. So maybe they are just going to mention one, right? And okay. that's okay. So just try to make sentences. It's not going to be long. Don't tell me like a whole story. I don't want to hear like a whole story. Since I, I was born. <laughs> I, I, I wish I could because I, I like to speak. But this time it's just about the homework. So those, just tell me in the places you have worked since from two... Then, for, for example, then I started working in another company. Okay, use that. I want to see how you use it, if you have understood the topic. Is it clear? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's just, let's just answer the, the one that we have today, and then we go. Okay, let's start. Um, okay, she graduated from UCA University. She studied there from 2005 to 2011. Uh, Diana? Okay. Uh, she worked in no. most. Oh, since. No, 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 no. Sorry. Yeah. Then yeah. she worked in Mosa uh, for seven years. Oh. Thank you very much. Jessica? Sorry, teacher. And since then she was a child. Okay. She wants she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. Excellent. She did not have oh no, no, that's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go with Suleima. Okay. She didn't she did not have to wait much to make this dream come through because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years uh, retired. His name was Gonzalo. Excellent. And... Stop there. Thank you. Let's go with Merlin. Okay. Um, he na his name was Gonzalo and he worked on their work uh, worked there since 2015. Excellent. Good job. Uh, let's go now with Brenda. Okay, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday. Okay, thank you very much. And she loves her job, right? Uh, Kerry. Um, she has not worked there. Um, I have a job here. And also my, my group was in... Com um, we are talking about this one because we have a lot of um, options. I believe that she has not worked there um, since, but her team supports her. Okay, that's okay, that's okay, don't worry. So imagine this is something that just happened. So she's new at the job. So she has not worked there because it's a short time, I told you. Long. 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 Okay. So she has not worked there long, mm -hmm. but her team supports her. Okay. Yes? Excellent, yes. guys. Okay, do you understand the activity for Monday? Yes. yes. Of course. Yes. Excellent, very good, guys. So I will see you on Monday, and I just stay with Brenda, right? Okay, have a good night. Okay. Have a good night, bye. everyone. Bye. Have a good bye weekend. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. Good bye. 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 <laughs> bye. Okay, Brenda, how are you? I cannot hear you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> I was telling you that I'm fine. What about you? <laughs> I'm doing really good because it's Friday. <laughs> That's so <No>. nice. <laughs> that tomorrow But, is Saturday and I will sleep. I know. I guess you always have to give classes at this time, right? 
Yeah, and I actually right now I'm gonna I'm 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 about to start like grading and doing like some exams and, and things like that. So I'm gonna be sleeping at, at one or two. <gasps> oh my god, I know. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> that's okay, that's a teacher's job. <laughs> and yeah, that's true. You have a lot of work to do. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Okay, Brenda. So is there something I can help you with? Something you want to know about the classes that I have given, or maybe something that you want to know about English in general? Yeah, I have like uh, two things that are my weaknesses. Like the first one is like when to use like on, at, and in. Sometimes when you are talking, you don't like, oh my gosh, what should I eat, do it here or what? And then uh, the other is like, uh, for example, when you use like a verb and then the next verb you would add is with ing. That is my two weaknesses that I have. That's why I, but right now I think it would be nice if you clear my doubts about on, in, at. Okay, so I can clear both, but let's start with the first one, right? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. on, in, and at are prepositions of place, but also prepositions of time. Okay. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. Actually, I, let me look for this. I have a presentation about that, but let mm -hmm. me, let me, I don't know where I have it. Because I save all the presentations, all the classes, <laughs> but I think mm -hmm. I, I, that was in the last module, I think, right? Is mm -hmm. was it was it in module five that you see that or not? Uh, no, I don't know because I haven't seen that. But this is something that I have there on my mind. Okay, let me let me look for it. Okay, okay. you can use on, in, and at for prepositions of place and prepositions of time. So, mm -hmm. uh, you have problems with both cases with prepositions of place and prepositions of time. Okay, see, I know that to say, like, for example, when I will going to say, like, I work at, and then I say the place, or I work in, and then I say, I don't know what, when to use in or at when I say I work or I am. In that case, you can use both. Mm -hmm. So it's not so complicated. When you mm -hmm. want to say the place where you work, you can say I work at or I work in. For example, I, I work in Inglés Corporativo or I work at Inglés Corporativo. When you say at is when you're referring to a specific point. For example, if you are in a map, on a map, right? You see and say in, or I mean, you say at. You see, it's confusing for me too. Uh -huh, so yeah, uh -huh. you say at when you have the address and you say the thing, you say at, right? So at. But in general, you can mention in. In is more used with places, countries, towns, um, anything that has borders that you know the time, like, that you know the limit. So you know, the, you know <laughs> okay. the borders. For example, I live in El Salvador, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know that El Salvador has borders. Right. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. if I say I work in English Corporativo, it means that I'm referring to the place that has borders. But if I say at English Corporativo, I'm referring to the specific place. That's why I can use both when I use in or at in this case. I can use both. But I cannot say I live at El Salvador. Because Never. that is not in a specific place. It's a huge place. Where do I live in yeah. El Salvador? Where do I live, right? So mm -hmm. in, because I have borders, borders. Mm -hmm. And you use on, okay? You use on with streets. Okay. Or you use on with floors. For example, on the first floor, on the second floor. So to be specific on es todas las cosas donde usted puede estar sobre. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. So for okay. example, I'm on the second floor. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm on the first avenue. Estoy en la primera avenida porque estoy parada. Mm -hmm. I'm stepping uh -huh. on the first avenue. And when you say like, for example, I have here that somebody says like, uh, I'm at school. I'm at school. Yeah, that's correct. And I'm in the school. You can say that too. Both things. Both things are correct. Uh, oh my gosh. I, I, I thought that you cannot use like a, a 
because of that, I was feeling confused because I didn't know that both are correct. Both are correct, don't worry, both are correct. The uh, only thing that you cannot say is, for example, with some phrases that you use in, you cannot use at. So for example, I live in San Salvador. You don't say mm -hmm. I live at San Salvador because mm -hmm. San Salvador is not like a building. It's not like, a, and, and at is more like with buildings. Mm. Oh, that's another thing that I forgot to tell you. At mm -hmm. is with buildings. Okay. So for example, I can say I'm at home. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I am at home, okay. Or you at can home, say at I'm the in the house. Not in the home, in the house. That means inside of the home, of the house. In, inside of the house, in the house. You can say mm -hmm. at home or in the house. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, at home, yes, I, I say that, but that is just like, because I learned it like that, but I don't know how to recognize that. Okay, more but exactly. the most important thing is that you know that when you use at, is when you have a building. Mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. see the limits of the building. So in that uh -huh. way, you can use at. At, okay, uh-huh. And, and on, it's streets and floors. And floors, everything that you can be on. So for example, that's another thing. For example, with transportation. Teacher, mm -hmm. but how do I say? I'm in the car or I'm on the car? How do you I say it? It's in, I say in, I'm in the car. Why? Well, because I'm inside of the car, I just learned it like that. Because and I'm how inside. do you say on or in the bus? I am on a bus, I think. And why? I don't know. It just came just like that. <laughs> okay, this is the this is the key for you. Uh -huh. In is in a place where you are sitting and you are inside of that place. On, okay. you can use it for places, I mean, transportations that you can be standing up in that transportation. So if you can on. walk inside of it, it's on. Mm -hmm. On bus because you can you stand can up and you can you walk. Can yeah. Stand up. For example, in or on a plane. Uh, on a plane. Yeah, exactly. You uh -huh, see? Uh -huh. It's super easy now. But here uh -huh. is a tricky question for you. Do uh -huh. you say in or on a motorcycle? On a motorcycle. Exactly. Because you're on top of it. You're not uh -huh. inside of the motorcycle. <laughs> no. <laughs> maybe in the tank. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But it is not possible, right? No. So no. Is, that, is that better for you now? Oh, yeah. A lot. A lot much better. Than, thank you a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the other question you had was? Oh, yeah. Like, for example, uh, when you have one verb here and then you add the other verb in an ing form. Okay. So it's easy with the present continuous, right? Like, I'm, go I'm going to my house. I uh -huh, Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. It's super easy. But in this case, we use the gerund. It's super easy, the explanation. Mm -hmm. We use the gerunds with verbs that are like go, like, mm -hmm. enjoy, hate, like. So let me why these this. verbs? Because next to this verb, like yeah, because next to this verb, sometimes you're going to say another action. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. you, you cannot say I dance working in the morning, right? You don't say that. But you can say I go working in the morning. Or I uh -huh. like working in the morning. So in this case, with the English, it's better. So let me share my, my screen so you can see what I'm talking mm -hmm. about. Mm -hmm. So in this case, you're going to say this. And instead of saying, I like to work in the morning, you can say, I like working. Because mm -hmm. in English, this one is correct. It's correct. But it's better if you say it like this. So you, you don't need the two to give the action to the second verb. So instead of adding the two, you say working. And in this case, you're adding an action to the second verb. Let me explain this to you. Because when we have two verbs together, like this, 
it is not a modal verb because you can say I can dance, I can work. That's a modal verb, nothing mm -hmm. with it. But when you have verbs like this, mm -hmm. you need an action for the second verb. The action for the first verb is in the subject. But for the second one, you need a two to give an action to it. Mm -hmm. But in this case, when you have verbs like like, enjoy, hate, mm -hmm. love, mm -hmm. let me see, like, enjoy, hate, love, go. Mm -hmm. And you have the opposites like don't enjoy, don't have, don't love. I mean, don't hate, don't love, don't go, and don't like uh -huh. the same. Yeah. You use mm -hmm. the next, then the next verb can be with ing. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I enjoy teaching English. Mm -hmm. Instead of saying, I enjoy to teach English. Mm -hmm. Yes? Uh -huh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I hate watching, I don't know, movies. I don't mm -hmm. hate it, but this is just an example. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I hate watching movies. I hate watching movies. I love, um, I love uh, singing. Oh my God, singing mm -hmm. in the shower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look at this, in the shower, in, because mm -hmm. I see the space, mm -hmm. right? Uh -huh. so uh -huh. I love singing in the shower. Uh-huh. I go shopping every weekend. Mm -hmm. So I use this instead of saying to, to give an action to the second verb. And it's better when I say it like that because it sounds more natural. It's okay if I say, I enjoy to teach English. It's okay, but mm, doesn't sound so good. But if you mm -hmm. say, I enjoy teaching English, it's better. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, they will understand my, much better and it will sound much better. Exactly, it will sound much better. Uh -huh. And these are verbs of what you told me? These are verbs of actions that need another action next to it. For example, when you say, mm -hmm. I like, maybe you're going to say another verb. I like dancing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I enjoy maybe you're going to mention a food. I enjoy Chinese food or you're going to say, I enjoy and another action, the action that you enjoy. Uh -huh. It cannot be just like that. No, exactly. So you need to uh -huh. add the ing or the two, but it's better if you add the ing. Uh -huh. Well, is it clear? Is, nice. is it clear now? Yes, a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that <laughs> was our time. Memorize. We take a little bit longer of the time, but that's okay. I hope you understood mm -hmm. everything I said. Yeah, yeah. Thank you a lot. Excellent. Don't worry. That's okay, Brenda. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Have by the way, weekend. which is which what is your it? name? Which what's, is your name? What's my name? What's your name? My name is Diana. Diana. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Thank okay. you, Diana. <laughs> okay. You're welcome. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye -bye. Good weekend, Brenda. Bye bye. Uh, thank you.